How do we know there wasn't a zygote? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Girls edition! <laughs> we saw the movie Little Women. Finally, um, it is still at the theaters. Hold on, I wouldn't, hold on, I wouldn't it say finally. It came out in December. We wouldn't say finally as like, finally we got to see it, but... I just mean finally, like, it's a popular movie that came out that lots of people have loved. It's a Best Picture nominee. It came out in December some at some point, and we're now seeing it, and it's February. Yeah. <laughs> Not like so us. we saw it. Unlike us. Yeah. So I should like I want to start with by saying I didn't really want to see this movie when I saw the trailer. That was like another Little Women. Like when a movie gets made a lot, unless like the trailer is radically like different in some way, I'm just like, hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the same way but I feel about Spider Man movies. Whatever you want to go see Spider Man movies. Well, I'll go see them so that I can stay involved in the like. You want to stay in that spider loop. The MCU, but um, Little Women did. I did, I don't need to do that. Yeah. I don't need to stay involved. So I wasn't really. It if was, there were other movies to see, we were going to see those. It other wasn't movies. an anticipatory experience for you. It sounds like, but you did get to go see it. We went and saw it, and we had the luxury of being the only people in the theater. <laughs> we're, so we we, we got some. People. You know, it was yeah. an extra special time in there. Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna. That's that. not what I meant. <laughs> you got some extra stuff that other people in the movie. Right, because Kelsey didn't felt more free to, like, whenever he left. I would to... perform dances, you know, because <laughs> I was just down there and she was right there and I could just do little dances on my way out and on my way back in. And then at one ex moment in time, you've got the 4D experience. Right. Which was, I think, the most awesome experience. Yes, there was physical affection on the screen. And I got physical kisses on my cheek. The fourth dimension. It's the next <laughs> level. So. So, Little Women. Little Women. It was a book. They're little. And <laughs> about little. four sisters. <laughs> and the stuff that unfolds. What year do you think it was when they grew up? The these boring little year. Little Women. It's the boring year where, like, you had, like, everybody was, like, like absurdly rich or, like, super poor. <laughs> and then, like, people were concerned about, like... Like, well, their dad was like fighting the for the like Union words. Army. I mean, it was yeah, so it was during the Civil War, eighteen sixties, maybe <laughs> is that right? And eighteen sixty five, I think. So that's Little Women. Um, this movie was directed by Greta Greta Gerwig, I think is how you say her name. So you know what Little Women is, Kelsey. This newest movie adaptation of Little Women. Go wait or skip. The thing I'll say. Minimally, you want to wait to see this movie. I don't. Uh, I thought that this was as far as these type of movies go, which are um, movies based on popular, incredibly popular classic novels. That it was a pretty good effort and good movie from that perspective. I thought the characters were fun. They were. It was really well cast. I thought that the story was a little jarring at times because they would flash back from present day, which was. We were, you know, to their present day to like past, but you never really had a tell as far as what that was. So at times in the movie, I was confused about what was going on. So I don't think it really broke any new ground though. I don't really understand why it's even nominated for best picture, but it was, a, I didn't not enjoy it watching it. Like if I had missed this movie, I would have been okay with that. But having watched it, it's not like I was bored or whatever during it. Yeah, I'm gonna say wait. Primarily because it was really well made, cast very well, like Kelsey said. Uh, we enjoyed like all the personalities of the four sisters and the way the actors like played those. And I thought the reason why I say wait versus a skip is because I thought that it had good themes in it, which is the themes of the novel, right? Um, respecting and honoring like individual people and their unique their uniqueness, like who they uniquely are and how they're made, and that the desires of one person doesn't make the desires of another, another person any less. Um, and this movie did a good job displaying love in these, like, kind of small ways, um, even outside the, little ways. The, the four sisters. And I thought it did a good job. And so I think in those ways, the movie is edifying. And so I would say, yeah... You don't need to rush out and see this movie. Clearly, we 
we chose not to go rush out and see it. Um, but should it stay in the theaters much longer, I think you could just wait and see it. It's a nice, like, heartwarming movie. Spoilers! Spoilers! If you don't already know, you know. I had no idea that this movie was like a prequel to Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. But it was about the littlest bitty women ever. <laughs> okay. okay, here's a real spoiler, though. If you're not aware in this movie about the middle part of this movie, Bob Odenkirk is going to make an appearance. And if you grew up watching Bob Odenkirk on a show called Mr. Show, you only know Bob Odenkirk from his hijinks as a comedian. And so when he shows up into this serious role, it kind of just threw my headspace into this weird place where I was expecting crazy stuff to start happening. <laughs> and it really just did not work for me because, because of my, what I brought into it. I'm sure his performance was fine, but to me, like, I was like, I can't take this guy seriously. Well, I will say that I'm not familiar with the show that you referenced, and I didn't know his name, so like I had way I less. I leaned over to you. I was like, "That's Bob Odenkirk." Yeah, I was like, "Who's that?" Like, I knew who the guy was, but like, I never heard that name before in my life. I never knew his name. He's got a weird name. When I saw his face, though, Strange. I've only ever seen him do stuff that's funny and yeah. like, like a certain kind of funny, you know, not a. You know, it's like the first time you saw Adam Sandler in a, in a dramatic role. You're like, what? Like, it's very different from what Adam Sandler does. This was very different from what I had seen him do in other things. So it was a little, like, Strange. odd. Like, there he, he enters the scene next to Laura Dern, and it's just like, you know, it was, it was odd. But, I mean, he did play. I'm glad that he got a dramatic role. His look actually fit in very well with, like, um, the period and every, like, his You don't know family. nothing about that period. But, uh, but it, it just, it was hard just knowing just him doing funny stuff. Yeah. Other things about the movie. Um, yeah, the reason why I didn't want to go see it is because I felt like the trailer really pushed this, the character of Joe in this whole, like, Pro woman, independent woman, uh, like all this stuff, and that is very. I'm just like, like I don't need to just like see this stuff. Like I'm just sick of it, kind of. Like to put it bluntly, I'm kind of just sick of all this over the top. I'm more interested in all human beings like loving each other and figuring out how to live in the world like together than I am that like women have to be like independent and alone and the best at every like you know I don't know so I was resistant to seeing the movie the movie actually like I feel like the trailer should have focused maybe on all four of the sisters I thought it did like the novel does it does a good job of showing like the differences in human beings and how they're all important and valuable even if they desire different things yeah it did have a lot of um, good in this movie and you could even say that this movie what was the thing that you liked movies to be edifying it was edifying because you got to see um, love shared between all sorts of different kinds of people and all sorts of different kinds of situation and people making choices that were willing the good of the other and that is the definition of love so I like seeing that I like the depiction of the familial love that the sisters had with their family and their extended family I thought that was a really nice thing to see and it always hits home for me because I don't feel like I've had that in my life mm -hmm. and so when I see it like on a movie or on a TV I really like it because it seems almost foreign to me and I, I'm drawn to that and then on top of that I thought that the performances were really good and I went into the movie picking one of the four sisters as the worst sister I was like she's the worst I don't know what his <laughs> name anyway it turned out she's my favorite sister Amy yeah <laughs> So I really liked, I mean, it was an entertaining movie that was a good film of this genre of movies. Now, this genre of movies probably isn't my thing or whatever. I'm yeah. not the target audience, but it was a good movie. Well, one thing you brought up was um, how, the, how the director chose to film the movie, which was switching between past and present. I need, like, and something to tell me when they're doing that. So the present was uh, Joe had, like, was living in New York, and she was a writer, Amy was in Europe with her aunt. The other sister, who I just forgot her name, she um, was married, but Beth was at home, but she was very sick and was about to die. And then they would go from that back into the past, which is them growing up. And you're right, like there wasn't a cue, there wasn't a different, 
There wasn't a sepia tone. It was like, and it wasn't like regular. Or like, <laughs> yeah. You know. It wasn't. There wasn't any regularity. So sometimes it would happen like after ten minutes. Sometimes it went like, you know, thirty seconds, sixty seconds, thirty seconds. Like it was. Yeah. So and the, I kind of look, and the, nobody looked different. Well, like nobody. The really... one of them did. Amy looked different. Okay. Like they went out of their way to make her look different because she was really younger in a lot of the things. You're supposed to be really younger. So I would always look for her to be like, okay. is she like? She was the looking? one person in the movie who I thought, oh, they're like, having some trouble having her play young. Um, yeah, that was the thing. But I could tell that <laughs> they like, had tried to make her look young. <laughs> yeah, so that I did find that a little but, jarring, and it was hard to get used to. By the end of the movie, I appreciated it. I liked it. Even though it was jarring, like I thought it was a, a good storytelling device in this like situation. Yeah, definitely. Here's one thing I wonder about. So the movie, um, the novel Little Women, Joe is somewhat autobiographical for the author. In the novel, like Joe does get married, and but in real life, uh, the author like she doesn't ever get married, and she's kind of Joe. She's the author, and she. So, but in this movie, they kind of play that out in the present where she sells her story and the guy's like, yeah, we got to make one change. Your lead's got to get married. And she goes, fine, if you'll pay me, I'll make that change. And I was like, well, is that how the real novel got written? Like, if you loved this novel, like, and some people do, they're over the moon about it, right? Like, they love the book Little Women. And... Do you feel like weird now that like you're if you see your author on the big screen being like, well, that's not how I wanted to write it, but I'll just I think like it might make me feel like, oh, I really love that Joe got married. And I don't know. I just wondered how like lovers of the book might feel about that. Well, you're asking the wrong guy. OK. <laughs> you never read the book. I don't really plan on reading the book. I do know that it is as celebrated as an English major at the <laughs> University of Houston. <laughs> I do know that it is a celebrated work. I read it once. And I, I don't rem I remember I enjoyed it, but I don't remember it. So even what I'm referencing right now about Joe getting married in the end, I assume that happened in the book based on what we saw in the movie. Who do you think was the litmus woman? Okay. What was that? How do we know there wasn't a zygote? Okay. <laughs> That's not a zygote. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with that. Please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> And thanks for watching.